Hello and welcome to week five module. This week what we're going to be doing is looking at creating a model of our design ideas. Last week you had an opportunity to evaluate your different designs uh, your, or alternatives as we called them. And this week we are going to take that final design that you came up with that you chose uh, looking at all the criteria and the constraints that you had and now we're going to model that. So this week we're going to look at how do we create a 3D model on the computer using different programs and specifically this week we're going to look at Onshape and then we're also going to be creating a physical model and reviewing that and reflecting on our learning from this week as well. So you'll see that there are five assignments they are due at the end of this week um, looking at October 3rd crazy to believe that we're already in October. So our learning objectives this week are going to be learning or exploring de design alternatives through the creation and testing of prototypes. However, we're going to do, just be focusing on the model this week and not, not the prototype. We're also going to look at what is the difference between a prototype and a model and comparing and contrasting the use of different construction materials in this uh, development of a prototype and like I said we're going to be focusing on the model end of things. So I want to make sure that I'm clear on this you are not required to go out and buy any materials to create your models this week. I'm looking for you to use uh, household items that are, you already have at home so you know scrap paper, cardboard, things like that, uh, tape, scissors, glue, um, nothing uh, heavy duty, no equipment really be, will need, be needed for this week's assignments. Um, I will strongly recommend that you use a mouse though when you get to the uh, online or computer drawings and the modeling there. So definitely something to consider if you do not have one, uh, maybe being able to borrow one from the school uh, might be a good idea. So this week look at reviewing uh, what is a model and also a prototype and how do we create those and test those. I have a video introduction for you um, specific to this design step. Also, I have a PowerPoint for you to view um, about creating a model and prototype and the difference there and just some additional information for you uh, as you begin this week's activities. And then I also put together an introduction video into the program called Onshape. I have created a, um, an account for each of you, so you'll be able to log in using your school credentials there. Uh, and then again, I have some information on that before you get rolling. This week's activities in Onshape, I have three different activities there. You'll complete one of the four or one of the three uh, video assignments and uh, complete exer the intro exercise as well as part two and part three. There's also a discussion board for this week. Um, you'll create your physical model of your design idea and share that with the rest of the class as well as give a classmate some feedback on their design maybe have a question for them about it or things that they could do to improve that. And then the final thing is a reflection essay for you about what did you learn from this week's assignment. This gives us a chance to kind of just reflect on our own learning as well as maybe some questions that you might have about this week's module leading into uh, week six then. So hopefully um, you're able to get into each of the assignments and get started here at the beginning of the week. If you do have any questions though through, throughout the week, feel free to send me a Schoology message. I'll be happy to get back to you. I know sometimes there's questions about Onshape. Um, if we need to, we can set up a Zoom meeting to discuss that. Um, and then I also talk about how to share a drawing in Onshape just so you have a better understanding of that as well. Um, I can look at that and give you some pointers along the way. Hopefully you have a great week. Looking forward to seeing your submissions on Schoology. And again, I will be, uh, you know, be around if you have any questions, send me a Schoology message. Have a great week.